Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Sylvester Loki, and in this video, we're going to be doing Loki. We're, going to, we're just going to be playing some Loki, you know, some Clash, Loki Clash, so, yeah. And you can probably tell what's something different about this video, and that is because you can see me. And, um, honestly, I plan to do this uh, at the very beginning of my channel, where I had my, uh, you know, face cam for each video I make, but I wanted to make that something more of a special thing. <laughs> Um, but since, now, since now we have 10,000 subscribers, and again, thank you, uh, we, c I can now, f you know, continuously do this, um, you know, face cam thing. So, for, for, from now on, majority of my videos will now have face cam. I hope it doesn't bother you. Um, there's a fly around here. Alright, so, let's get this straight on, right? I actually haven't played Smite for, like, a week. Um, I played, like, one or two games with, like, other people like a few days ago but that was just like arena and I wouldn't count that I was like struggling let's see uh beads um so let's see let's see if I still got my Loki touch you know um uh okay what why am I having a follow the frick hold up I really hope I'm not streaming. That would be the most, like, like, ridiculous thing ever. I, it says I'm recording. I'm not actually streaming. Um, and if I was streaming, my FPS would be really high. But if I am streaming, then oh well. Well, oh, still got my touch. Ugh, the kills are so free. Anyway, um, hmm. I hope my microphone volume is not too loud. Um, I'm pressing G. <laughs> I'm pressing G. Um, so I'm rusty because of uh, Paragon is gonna be messing up my controls. The controls of Paragon is Q E R, not Q. Yes, is there R? I don't know. Yeah, see, right now I have to look at the keyboard for a second to use my three. So. Uh, it's gonna suck. Black Ram. I've, I've seen that name before. Ugh, man. I'm so tired. Alright, so let me tell you what, what happened, right? So, I had school today, obviously, right? I mean, I only have, I only have four more days of school. Um, three, technically, when this video comes out. Or maybe even two, depends on... It's basically whenever I upload it. But, this is the, today's the 14th, so... Oh, I thought that was an enemy, <laughs> Anubis. Um, uh, on the 14th, four days from now, we're going to have uh, four school days. My bad. Four school days. The weekends don't count. You just call me a moron? I can't stealth. Oh, because <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have had a lot of homework to do, so I stayed after school to finish it. And I, was, I only finished half of it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just not going to do the other part. And just throw a homework pass on it. Our teach one of our teachers allows us to use a homework pass. Now I was searching all over my room for the homework pass, but um, I really hope I have the right one because I would suck if I don't. But my grade's pretty high, so if I lose, eh, I don't know. I'm just so tired and stressed out. Don't really want to. So I'm like, you know what? A good way to get rid of the stress is play Smite. <clears throat> that was actually a terrible idea. That was a very slow reaction. I, to, I can I have to look at my keyboard to do things, and I'm pressing G again because G is the button for the um, item in Paragon. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I forgot I can do this too. All right. <laughs> that skin, man. Alrighty then. Aw, that's unfortunate. I 
would have killed him too, but whatever. Wait, that didn't hit me. What? Bruh, my 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 mm, my toe was on that. Ugh. Okay, well, anyway. Oh man. This came back from Smite. Already feeling that I mean honestly this this match is not bad. I mean they're pretty bad, honestly. I haven't played for a long time that my ELO is probably like meaningless. I mean I'm pretty sure you don't lose ELO if you don't play Smite. It's just you're you get like According to high res, your perf your uh, the quality of matches depends on how many play, how much you play. So if you stop playing for a while, your match the the matchmaking is going to be really bad. So and I did stop for like a week. So I'm so rusty, dude. I would do it like ten times better. He's gonna wall me. Yep. I shouldn't have beats there because it was just. Ch I, know, I think I would have died. You may have freeze is annoying as hell. I forgot how much CC there is in this game. Ah, oh, man. I forgot how fast you die and like. Just dang. Quick, drink some of this. See, that's what I disagree with right there. In Paragon, you can't really do that. But, uh, you know, at least I haven't seen it. I really, in Paragon, I really like to play Kalari Count Countess sometimes. Uh, she's very, I just don't like the fact that she has no escapes. She has an initiation and then she can go back to her illusion. But that's, so not, that's not reliable. If you're being chased down, you can't do anything. Um... I mean, sure, there's ways to trick people, like, you stealth on them, and then just back away, and if they get to you, you can just, it's like Chalk 1. It's exactly like Chalk 1. If I go toward that axe, he can just run away, or if I go toward him, he'll just teleport back to the axe. So, it's, it's like that. Um, but I also like, really like to play the Hades character. Um, his abilities are like Hades. Not really, but it's just, it's like, I have, I just missed my auto from point blank. And it's got assist. I forgot how much I hate assists now. Oh my gosh, it's coming it's all coming back to me. <laughs> is he gonna is Rats not gonna hold? Okay. It's fine by me. I hate Ymir players. They're worse than Loki players because they're annoying as hell. I could have ulted as a Nami, but I haven't played this game for so long. I just didn't think about it. That's the problem. Oof. Ymir, like, I'm more afraid of Ymir than anyone else. Like, that shouldn't be the case. I should be more afraid of the carries, the damage dealers, but no, I'm afraid of a freaking fat guy who can stun me for 50 years. That's what I don't like about Smite. Um, like, I'm not complaining about beads. I complain about the CC being too strong in this game. Everyone has to have a CC in their kit, which I don't really agree with. I mean, for the ultimate, yes, but not for, like, you know, they, they should have soft CC in their entire kit or something like that, but hard CC should be based off of, um, why don't I buy wards? I still have the habit of buying wards, apparently. That noise is very creepy. Dead. How am I gonna auto cancel? That's gonna be the problem. Do I know how to? Okay, like auto canceling is all about reflexes and muscle memory, so. I need to, like. Man, I really hope my microphone isn't loud. Ugh. Cause I, like, I'm using OBS right now, which is why you can see, like, Professor Loki. That's my, um, stream name. Stream name. It's my, just, it's my Twitch layout, so. I was gonna use Shadowplay, but 
the camera for that is really awkward, so I'm just gonna use OBS. I don't know if the quality will be less, or you know, yeah, we'll see. I really hope this. I really hope this recording turns out good. And tell me if you guys want me to upload Paragon or Smite. Like, what do you guys want? Uh, and no, don't tell me some random crap like play Assassin's Creed or some shit. Like, no, 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 just like Paragon or Smite, because I'm up for really either, even though I prefer. Oh, okay, I can't auto cancel apparently. See, I don't know myself. I can auto cancel. It's all. It's my body. If my body knows how to auto cancel, that's good for me, I guess. But I don't know how to. Like, I don't. I don't think about auto canceling. I just do it. I love doing that. It's so not worth it, because it's a lot better if you just stay alive, because you're worth a lot more gold. But, you know, um... Do I cannot trust myself with this? That's the question. I'm gonna get Wrath, just to stop Ymir from freezing me. Ymir is so annoying. I'm glad my team can handle themselves, sort of. I mean, Chalk is speeding, but he's our, like, only tank, so it's alright. He has 10 assists, so it's alright. He's, he's good, he's good. People don't calculate KDA, even though it, like, KDA doesn't matter. It's KDA. Um, you gotta add the assist. Assist matters, too. While I don't agree that, that that's a general statement, but in Smite, assists, you can get assists so easily. You don't have to do anything to get assists, and that's why I don't really like the assist system. Whoa, that's a lot of farm. But sadly, my decoy will be able to kill that all. Whew. Wow, that was hot. Um. So I do have a macro for a clap and a laugh at the same time. That's a cool ward. I really hope I can use my hog though, because do I, can I trust myself? That's the question. I still know what to do. I play Kalari and I always turn around. People in people in um, Paragon don't know to not just go forward. That noise is terrible. So bad. It hurts my ears. Are they back probably. Ugh, chaos. Ugh. And I'm gonna get stunned. Great. Oh, I remember how bad chaosing is. I really hope season four becomes bad. <laughs> A part of me saying that, hey, season four, be bad as you always were. But. A part of me saying that I still want to be, you know, because I'm Professor Loki, that's who I am, you know, I feel like my channel's gonna. I still know how to body block, so that's good. <laughs> that, you know, the funny thing is, I'm very good at body blocking because of me trying to body block my teammates. So I learn how to body block well because of my team. So I use my team as tool, like, like freaking, I don't know, test monkeys, I guess, and play toys. And then eventually I learn how to do it to my enemies. The decoy thing, I really wish you could apply to my, no, that, that's so trolly though. Well, if Ymir can do it, I should be able to do it, right? <laughs> See, as Kalari, you can forever stealth, which is pretty cool, but a ward reveals you instantly. Which is fair, but I just don't like the fact that everyone can just spam wards. In this game, you can only place down two. Go away. What? Okay. What did they? Did they? Did they patch something that I'm not aware of? 
Loki's decoy no longer distracts minions. <laughs> it's completely useless now. <laughs> it's only like... <laughs> that would suck. Funny thing is, Kalari actually got a nerf in Paragon recently. Uh, not not a damage nerf, but a mana nerf. Um, his abilities now cost more mana. It doesn't scale to like 30 to 50, it's just constant 50 now. I'm alright with, honestly, because he wasn't... Kalari is not very mana, mana hungry, but now he kind of is. Late game, not really, because it's the same thing. It's just early game, he needs to be more careful on what he does. And he can't just spam his invisibility. Which is perfectly fine. It's a reasonable nerf, but it's just... I still think... I think like, I want his ultimate to be changed. I don't like the global ult. It's so relevant. It's only good if someone's so very low, or... Like, his... Joining team fights is... How did I make that? That's no way. <sighs> well, at least I know how to still all play the hell out of people. Also, the backing completely baited him. <laughs> you guys don't realize that my 2 does more damage than my 3. And just because I'm not upgrading it, it still has 100% scaling on it. So while I do 100, oh, like 75, 125 damage, you gotta add that 300 to it. So, I mean, it's still gonna hit 2 to 300 damage to you, my friend. As soon as I see Ymir, though, I'm afraid. <laughs> Ymir is the only thing that can kill me. <laughs> oh, man. That's a surrender. Okay. Sorry for being sad at the end. Oh, man. These are the majority of my games. It's either this or I lose completely. My team was actually able to stand like we had an Anubis in our team and for some reason we still won. Anubis is such a free low. Um sort of, not really. Like if you don't know how to play against him, he's like he's like Loki. If you if you can't if you don't know how to fight against him, he's gonna just he's gonna be like the most broken guy in the game. GG. Um so that is really how I played Loki. Um, besides the feels Loki, man. <laughs> Loki. Um, fifteen five and eight. Honestly, this is the first game, right? First game. I, it's it's ten p.m. right now for me, and I decided, you know what? Let me just record. And why not? I hope. I think. I think it was pretty fun, uh, especially now you can see me, and so if you get bored of the game, you can stare at my ugly face. So it's, it's all good, you know. Uh, <laughs> my build's still the same. A lot of people are tell. okay, there is a one question that I should add it to the Q&A, is what about Hydra's Lament? Guys, Loki needs a source of mana, and Trance is garbage. So until Trance gets a buff, or until Hydra's gets a, such a big nerf that it's passive, it's first passive is irrelevant, then 
Hydra's Lament is still going to be a core item. They can nerf Hydra's Lament to back to 30 power, and it's still something you should always get. Because it's not about the power, it's about the cooldown reduction, the mana, and the passive. That's beautiful. So while they did nerf the cooldown, which sucks, I will now always have 30 out of 40% cooldown. Sucks. I'll have one second less on my abilities. So... And one second, guys, is a lot. It can determine whether I'm alive or I'm dead. So, I don't know. I did some really good, I did some really well outplays. Um, for example, that Ymir. I know how to counter Ymir. You walk towards him. You don't walk away from him. You walk towards him. Because when he, when he activates his freeze, his cone gets smaller the closer you are to him. So, because you're not going to outrun a Ymir if he walls you or something like that. And you, like if, as soon as you turn around and you see a Ymir, you're going to get frozen. So, what you can do is go towards him and go to his side. Just like Scylla. Whenever Scylla ults, you can just move to, move behind her. And if you're lucky, I mean, if she, you know, depends on where she hits or she ults, then you can avoid her ult completely. Um, Ratatosker, I knew for a fact that he was impatient. Like, he could have waited for my decoy to explode first. Um, I'm pretty sure he had enough time. Um, so, but he didn't, uh, cause the reason why he just jumped in at me is because I taunted him and not by the VET command. I'm talking about, I was backing like cockly, like I was cocky, but I wasn't, I was showing that I was cocky. I was challenging him or like, so I put my decoy down, pressed the B button, was backing and he was like, oh yeah, you're not going to do that, son. I'm better than you. So he just jumped on me and then I had beads and I beads the knock up. And then, um, or I beads the stun, because you can't beads the knock up. If you're knocked up, you're knocked up. Um, and then I hogged him into my uh, decoy. My 3A, my 1 killed him, and, you know, I lived. So it's, I, I, it's not, it's that, like, that was, it wasn't impressive to me, because I, I knew what was going to happen. But if you guys want to get better as Loki, you need to learn how to outplay people, how to outsmart people. When you get to higher play, Loki is not just about 1, 3, and 4, because later on people will come smarter, and they will avoid those cheesy, predictable combos. So, now if you're in casual, if you're a casual player or you're a beginner, then go on ahead, just do 1, 3, and 4, yes. Press 1, 3, 4, you kill someone instantly early on, like, not early on, but like in lower elo, but in mid elo or to a little higher elo, then, like, you gotta, you can't just do this, you can't just do that as Loki. You can't just get kills over and over and over and over as Loki, like, that doesn't, that's not how it works. It's like Kalari and Paragon. I noticed that when I was playing with level 50s, um, I was unable to become, I was, like, usually in my, every game I play as Kalari, I go like 20 plus kills, and, but when I play those little 50s, it was a little, it was difficult. The highest, I just got, I went like 12 and 8, I think, I, th I think. I went 12 and 8 rather than 30 and 8. So, I, I did b worse because people know how to counter Kalari. So, I had to use my brain rather than my abilities. So, that's how Loki is as well. When you, get, when you fight tougher opponents, you guys need to be smarter than them. You need to outplay them. Not just press 1, 3, and 4 because that's not going to work. So, that's going to be about it, guys. If you have any comments or concerns, please post it down below. And tell me if you guys like this uh, face cam thing. If you do, I will keep it. If not, if you don't want to see my ugly face, that's fine. Just say it right now. Like, I don't want to see your ugly face. Get out of here. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. So maybe that's why I don't get views in my Twitch. Just kidding. I'm, just, okay, I'm going to roast myself now. Anyway, I'll see you guys all Loki and non-Loki players next time. Ha ha ha!